We're here at the Best Buy. They said they had 26 PlayStations. So they said everybody was over here. We just left Circuit City. They came out and announced they only had eight PlayStations. So there was three guys we ended up getting to do one-to-ones with. So we didn't quite get to do an open air. We were hoping to do open air here, but the crowd is a bit sparse. We don't know if anybody's in the tents or what's going on. We're going to go up there and rattle the tents around, see if we can figure out how many's up there. And if we can gather a group, we'll try to do an open air. Sinner guilty if God judges us by that on judgment day. Yeah. 
Guilty? Yes. Forgiveness. forgiveness? We got guilty over here. Forgiveness. Anybody else? Yes, they're guilty. On that, you're guilty. Within those brains. Plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. What was plead the fifth? Well, here it is. We'll be guilty because God says in His in the Bible, He says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. No fornicator or adulterer will inherit the kingdom of God. And no thief will inherit the kingdom of God. So we all stand before Him guilty. So God is a righteous, just, and holy judge. And the only thing He can do is condemn us to hell. Now hell is described as a lake of fire, a place of torment, where the smoke of their agony rises up forever before His throne. And so we will be condemned to that. Now, there is something that He's provided for us to escape that. He made a way out of it. 2,000 years ago, His Son Jesus came to the earth, was fully man, fully God. He, he was born of, her, of a virgin, lived a perfect, sinless life. And He took upon all of our sin, because we all stand out here sinful. So He took that sin upon Himself, and He was crucified to the cross. Now, God rained down His wrath upon Him, because God says, if we are outside of His will, we are children of wrath. And if we are inside of His will, we are Son Jesus, we are children of God. So He rained down His wrath on His Son because He had to pay that fine. The law was broken. And if God just winked and said, Oh, He pleaded the fifth, we'll let Him in. That's no good. That makes God wicked. Because He'd just be like a an unjust judge. How, how often have we seen in the news where a judge, or you watch it on mob movies, a judge is paid off to let somebody out of court, right? And we say, that's that's evil. How can they do that? Well, well, God's much more righteous than an earthly judge. He can't do it. He must punish. So, he punished. He put that punishment on his son. Now, he, Jesus was dead for three days. On that third day, he rose again. And he paid that penalty for your sin and for my sin. And I've talked to a lot of people, and a lot of people say, well, that's why I'm saved, because Jesus rose from the dead. No, that's not why we're saved. Because just because He rose from the dead and defeated death, that doesn't automatically apply. It's not a matter of works. We cannot work our way into heaven. I can't do good deeds to get into heaven. This is what we must do. We must obtain, take hold of that salvation. It's like if I were going to give you something, what do I got in my pocket? I can't give you my car keys. If I were going to... I'm going to give you some money. <laughs> Alright. If I were going to give you something, what would you What would you do? You have to do something to get it, right? You don't have to... If I were going yeah. to give you this card, you don't, you don't have to work for it, right? It's yours. But what do you got to do? You got to reach out and obtain it. You're not working for it. You're obtaining it, right? Help, help. <coughs> Alright, you're, you're obtaining. You're taking that card. Now, our salvation is, is so similar to that. Jesus died on the cross, resurrected, but we obtain that through repentance and trust. Now, repentance in America, we have a different idea of repentance. We say, well, I'm going to go out and party and have a good time, and I'll ask God to forgive me. That's not repentance. Repentance is we we realize how sinful we are before a righteous, holy God, and we deserve hell, and we cry out for His mercy, and we beg forgiveness, and we ask Him to forgive us. And then the other half of repentance is we turn away from that sin. We no longer live a life of lies, adulterous thoughts, fornications, things like that. We, we forsake that. We turn away from that. It's a complete turn. That's what repentance is. The other half is trust. sacrifice that was made that God will save us, God will provide for us. So those are the two things. It's kind of like trusting is if you put on a parachute, you put on that parachute and you, you jump because you trust the parachute, right? People pull the cord and we hear from time to time that it doesn't open and splat. They trusted the parachute but it didn't work, right? Well, when we trust in Jesus, we don't have to worry about that. That's what our trust is. The Bible actually says put on the Lord Jesus. Christ. So, in the essence, we put him on like a parachute. So, so what are the two words I've said that you must do? 
repent and trust. Now again, don't confuse that with works. You can't work your way into heaven. There's no way. Jesus paid all the fine that there is to be paid. And it's not Jesus pays 60% and we pay 40%. Jesus paid 100%. And we come before God humble. God says he resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. There will not be a one prideful person in heaven. We all come to God with humility. God, I realize I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I'm an adulterer. I haven't kept you first. I've created false gods. We're, we're too sophisticated for sticks and wood, but we create false gods of <coughs> money, jobs, cars that we're seeking after. That falls into to number 10, the coveting. So those are how we stand guilty against God. So uh, check out our website, repentantrust.org. You guys, y'all think about it. Y'all got some idle time out here, and if y'all have any questions, Get a hold of us, and we'll have this video up and running over the weekend, so y'all can take a look. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Okay, you the best part right now. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. We're here at the Best Buy. They said they had 26 PlayStations. So they said everybody was over here. We just left Circuit City. They came out and announced they only had it on. We're going to go up there and rattle the tents around, see if we can figure out how many's up there. And if we can gather a group, we'll try to do an open air. We're out here with the website. And he set me on fire when I am burning alive. With this breath in my lungs, I am coming on. Eight PlayStations, so there was three guys we ended up getting to do one to ones with, so. We didn't quite get to do an open air. We were hoping to do open air here, but the crowd is a bit sparse. We don't know if anybody's in the tents or what's going on.